Hello everyone, Happy New Year to you all and welcome back to another year of Fun Fact Friday videos with Ruthven Park National Historic Site. I'm here on a chilly January morning here in January 2023 and surrounding me is a lot of seasonal weather. It's very chilly out here. There's no snow on the ground but there is a lot of mud as the ground starts to thaw out into the springtime. And in that mud I've started to notice that there's a whole lot of animal tracks showing up. Animals have been in our area, they're wandering around looking for food, and if I look at those tracks even closer, they tell a really interesting story. Today I want to share with you one of those stories about one of the most prevalent tracks that you'll see here in southwestern Ontario, the Northern Raccoon. So let's go explore together, shall we? Nowadays, when I say the word raccoon, many people will think of this famous character from Marvel's Guardians of the Galaxy. Some might think of this fictional family of raccoons who used to air on CBC. Or if you're closer to my generation, then you may even think of this raccoon who famously went to school. Regardless of the raccoon that you think of, this species is very well known amongst citizens of North America. This fame is likely attributed to their ability to survive in several habitats, including near human settlements. They've been recorded to be in population densities more than 55 per kilometer squared in urban areas and 244 per kilometer squared in secluded natural areas, making them very common and thus very well known. Raccoons make their dens in several habitats, but tend to favor certain elements depending on where they're residing. If in a forested habitat, they will den up in tree cavities or gaps within rocks. In a more urban area, they may reside in attics or other buildings that can fit a lot of individuals in them. During the winter time, when we happen to notice tracks on the ground, the raccoons are not true hibernators. They, like many other animals, will store fat reserves as a build up to the winter time. During harsh winter weather, they will den together, slow their bodies down, and rely on fat reserves to make it through. If forced to, they will scavenge in the winter, but only out of necessity. Their regular diet is that of an omnivore. They will eat pretty much anything they can get their hands on. Seeds, nuts, fish, insects, small mammals, agricultural crops, eggs, and even scraps from the trash for urban areas. Raccoons are very intelligent creatures, and this intelligence results in their ability to survive in North America. They can be quite territorial creatures, and will lash out if they feel threatened. So it's always best to look from a distance, instead of interacting with wild animals, because they are just that. Wild. This winter, keep an eye out for raccoon tracks in the mud or snow around your neighborhood. You can identify a raccoon track by looking for five finger-like toes on each print, and the small claw marks in front of them. See if you can spot the track in this photo. Well, did you find it? Look closely at the middle and you'll see those five fingers and the little claw prints in front of them. Raccoons really are beautifully intelligent creatures. Their intelligence is often why they are infamous for getting up to mischief, but it also makes them very adaptable and very resourceful in nature. In fact, I've had many instances where raccoons have outsmarted me when I was filling bird feeders and they would climb up the post and reach their little paw down inside the feeder to start to pull out the black oil sunflower seed that I had just filled that feeder with. I'm sure many of you have stories of northern raccoons outsmarting you as well. They really are crafty little creatures. Thank you for joining me in this Species Spotlight edition of Fun Fact Friday and be sure to join me next month where we will continue to focus on the natural aspects here at Ruthven Park National Historic Site. Take care.